Atanas Zakhariev is a Roma activist from England. So, hello everybody. Um, I am Atanas Zakhariev. I've been working in the human rights field um, um, for years. Um, also as a project manager. Um, now in UK I'm also working on project management on issues related to education and building uh, global networks for organizations called In Hive Global. So, um, what you don't know about me, this is something that is more common about my biography, um, is that I also um, did trading and investing, investing. I'm interested in, in general in the IT. I'm also a cybersecurity specialist, um, working um, on my own to understand how the global economy looks. And um, that's another so layer that I want to add. In the finance part. Yes, I'm interested in the finance part. I've been interested and fascinated the, the, how the real world works. And as we know, uh, we everything that evolves, politics evolves around economy, evolves about money. And what I would be interested to speak about is about that. And how do we fit? Like my colleagues already really painted very well what is happening. I'm just going to add one or two layers to see how do we play there. Um, in my opinion, as as to I know I share the opinion of many people here, things look doom and gloom, really doom and gloom. And economically, we see basically since COVID what has happened. What is the impact on the global economy? We are currently in a recession as deep as it was in the 1920s, 1930s. Um, in this regard, we also need to talk about the global reset, the digitalization of the economy in general, the digital dollar. Dollar that is not being uh, backed up, as we know that the, digital, uh, the dollar itself is um, the global currency, as we know. This is the way we trade on international economies, except now there is another thing that is actually the Russian ruble um, being used uh, among few countries. But what I want to see beyond that is how do we fit in there? We talk about also blockchains. This is the, the future. We talk about IT, not nanotechnology. We talk about artificial intelligence. I, I, we talk about society that is being strictly um, surveyed. We are more and more into that sphere. We can, I mean, thinking about Metaverse. the Roma in this case. Sorry? As a question, met metaverse as well? Metaverse, absolutely. This is what I, I, I did like myself. I create currencies. I create, I am part of that digital society in itself. And it functions differently. Everything is trackable. Everything is, is uh, there is nothing that you cannot be seen there. There is literally nothing. And this is where we are going to be. Just, just position yourself when you talk about discrimination, where um, global economic trends and um, morality. This is something else we'll talk about as well. But what, what would be your vision for this when you are talking about metaverse, about all these finance things, about, uh, yeah. Can my vision see? starts from there. I needed to layer a little bit before I actually speak about my vision. Um, what I see happening globally is mass destruction mass destruction of the system as it is, and the recreation of a new system that is based on digital economy, when people will be absolutely surveyed and dependent on the state. And that, the state that controls you more and more. You are, now we are living more in a plugged-in society. We, as Roma, also participate, maybe on the margin, but we're being seen. All our transactions, all our actions are being seen. Even more when um, blockchain technology and digitalization come into, into the, our future, our near future, that we, there will be massive loss of jobs will be, that will be replaced by uh, artificial in intelligence, jobs that traditionally marginalized communities do, they will be absolutely replaced, I assume. And the idea is where we stand. The idea is basically, yes, we have something to offer, and this is our morality, what we believe in, what, what um, uh, comparing to the, to the state of the, uh, the, uh, the general population in, in Europe, for example, we have waves of people looking for spiritual uh, hope, um, 
going away from depression. We see basically uh, across uh, countries we have this global depression in people which affects your actions, your everyday way of living is being controlled even more. A person that has no hope, that has no, no moral um, hopes and loses everything. And being, it's easier to control. So that's what I wanted to add, basically. If trends such as, you know, people looking more for fate in, in, in everyday actions, they actually can resist certain trends. They, they, in addition, what we should be actually looking into is uh, getting being taking advantage of the, of the society, really, really educating ourselves how to take advantage of this emerging society. While people are still sleeping, most of the people are sleeping, we need to, be, to wake up and to see what is possible. Of course, education is key. We need to educate yourself how to become part and how to be successful, to, to how to actually wave the trends of that newly established system that comes in. Otherwise, everything is doom and gloom. Thank you. Thank you, Atanas.